Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Professor Williams again, and today I'm here with weighted mean. The weighted mean is a really convenient way to compute the arithmetic mean when there are several observations that all have the same value. So what we have is we're going to calculate x bar sub w, and sub w just indicates that we calculated it as a weighted mean, and so we're going to take the weight or the number of times that x1 appears. We're going to multiply the number of time it appears times its value. And to that, we're going to add the number of times that x2 appears times the value of x2. And we're going to add that to the number of times that x3 appears times the value of x3. And we would just keep doing that until we had counted for everything that we had. In the denominator, we're going to use the weights. So the number of times we saw x1 plus the number of times that we saw x2 plus the number of times we saw x3. And just as we did in our numerator, we're going to continue that until we've accounted for everything that we have. We can also look at it in this kind of shortcut formula that says the x bar sub w is simply the sum of all the weights times all of the values and divided by the sum of the weights. Remember, if my students make a mistake, it's with this denominator. The denominator is always the sum of the weights. You can also think of this as being your n. It's the number of observations you have in your data. So let's look at it in an example. So Tar Heel Produce sells three varieties of apples. They sell Granny Smith, Macintosh, and Red Delicious. And they buy all of their apples from Annie's Orchard. And Annie's charges them $5 for a bushel of Granny Smith's. They pay for the Macintosh, they pay $6.50 a bushel. And the Red Delicious cost them $8 a bushel. So last year, Tar Heel bought from Annie's and sold 270 bushels of Granny Smith, 300 bushels of Macintosh, and 100 bushels of Red Delicious. And now what Tar Heel wants to know is, what was their average or mean cost per bushel? This is one of those instances where using a weighted average makes the most sense. All right, so we're going to set up our weighted average um, here. And so... What I knew was that they bought 270 bushels at $5 a bushel. And they also bought, I'm going to add, the 300 bushels that they bought at $6.50. And then last but not least, we were told they bought 100 bushels of the Red Delicious and they paid $8 a bushel for those. So now in the bottom of my formula, I have my weights. And so that was 270 of the Granny Smith plus 300 Macintosh plus 100 of the Red Delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and start reducing my fraction. And so when I multiply 270 times $5, I get $1,350. I'm going to multiply the 300 bushels times the 650. That's going to give me 1950. And then last but not least, this 100 bushels at $8 a bushel is going to give me $800. I'm going to add up my weights in the denominator and that gives me 670. So when I do that little piece of math up top, that gives me $4,100 that they spent on apples. And in exchange for that $4,100, they got 670 bushels of apples. So when we divide that out, we get 6.119 which I'm just going to round and tell Tar Heel that their average price per bushel of apples was 
and 12 cents. I hope this helps. If you need me, you know where to find me on YouTube. Until then, have a great day.